Hello, my name is Tom Carhill. It's Tuesday. It's the 10th of December 2013. Um, I'm going to do a quick video now about Brian Gerridge um, and one of the things you need to watch out that it's been a recurring tactic which um, is beyond suspicious. One of the things he's recently, more recently done is he's direct, well, more recently, within the last 18 months or a year, it's done, is he's replaced what used to be an incredibly interesting um, bullet point by bullet point, um, then sort of sub bullet point, then sub sub bullet point format, with an incredibly boring, um, what they'd probably not be a monologue, because one person speaks for ages, then he speaks for ages. And it goes on for ages and it will go on for hours. And so you replace something that was like an hour of very, very interesting point by point riveting information with an incredibly, incredibly boring monologue followed by the other person's monologue followed by the other person's monologue of just nothingness, which is so incredibly boring and so incredibly different in, in contrast to what he previously did that as other people have worked out as well as me nobody's ever ever going to listen to all of what he said because it's so incredibly boring that it, it, it most normal people or perhaps I'd say all normal people would be incapable of paying attention to it for that long because it's so boring so if, you, if you've got a very low attention span there's no chance you just will not be able to and if you've got a very high attention span the actual process of listening to it, you're just going to switch off and start thinking about other things because it's just nothingness. Um, now, when you consider his previous format and then you consider his current format and the fact that he's come under lots and lots of fire from lots of people saying that he's useless and he's causing lots of problems and all of these other things which I've um, covered, you've got to remember that he used to be interesting punchy and he used to appear to be hitting at lots of things now since then um, he's changed that I would suggest to you that somebody whose public speaking has got progressively worse as they've learned more I would say that's impossible now I'd be interested to see what you think about this but that's what I think I think it's impossible that his format can have got incredibly worse the more information that he's apparently got i know he has taken in more information but he's obviously sitting on most of it the other important thing is that i have yet to find any example of anything that brian gerrish has ever made being taken down now if you think of it in an historic a historic context some of the things he said about various parties you would have thought that some of those parties would have put lots of effort in to get it taken down you would have thought oh well um, I'll just take that down. It's just easier. Just take take that one down. I have I have yet to see any evidence of any official organisation ever try to remove anything that he said off the internet. Whereas they go to great lengths to take other people's stuff down. They you know they've got hugely well, bottomless legal budgets and they have no scruples about just targeting people, going for them, going for them, going for them. So let's say if you made ten videos. Each of those videos fingers about 10 different parties or groups. You would think that once in a while he would have to change one of those videos or take them down just for ease, just literally for the um, unduly over administration situation that would occur if he just refused to do it. I've got no evidence of anybody even making a strong attack against him. Now, he says that people have told him. That David Cameron has said that next year or the next year, it keeps, it's always next year, um, has said that people like Brian Gerrish are not going to be allowed to say the things that they're saying. They're going to be stopped from saying them. Right, well, if that's the case, um, I don't believe the laws particularly change. They put in lots of um, uh, basically thought crime laws in England, as you've probably been aware over the years. They just don't um, use them very often. So basically, you're not allowed to say anything if it can possibly annoy somebody. And now they're bringing this ridiculous anti-nuisance legislation. So if you're a nuisance, or someone might think that you might possibly be a nuisance under extenuating circumstances, you could be sent to prison for two years. All of this insane legislation, the reason they're not enacting it is because it is actually insane. But they're putting it in, and they're just not, enact, not using these enactments uh, as a means of shutting people up. So anyway... 
Back back to the main point though. Brian says people have tried to take his stuff down. They haven't, right? And there's no evidence to say they have. And he said about other things, as I've covered, like commercial liens, going to court and having great success. They haven't, as we know, because he can never provide any evidence of this happening. He can never provide any evidence of any of these things happening. And his format has got incredibly more boring. His, his, his um, interviews are so incredibly long uh, that they're just too boring to listen to. And on top of that, I'll leave you one last thought. The thing that prompted me to do this video is a couple of people have told me that they've made videos with him and he's cut out the most interesting thing. So we'll have them midway through a massively long interview talking about a very, very easy to prove subject and he will cut out all of the most relevant details. The goal, um, the, the, the smoking gun will be removed. So even if you listen to the whole thing, you'll get the impression that it's a very dreary, boring, confusing subject, where in fact it isn't, and it could have been described in about three minutes. But he'll take two shows, so it'll be like three hours, and it'll be in the middle of that, and there'll be like, like other things about all this other gibberish and nonsense that'll just go on forever. Um, so I'll leave it there. Thank you.